Hello everyone, my name is Shazeb Hamid and welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to develop a distance calculator system with the help of Python, right? So here I'll input, uh, you know, a data file and in that data file I'll have access to longitudes and latitudes, right? And from that what I'll try to do is I'll try to calculate the distance from uh, one point to another point, right? so for that uh, the few library that we are going to use are import pandas numpy and plotly right so let's start so import pandas as pd and after that i'm going to import numpy numpy as np and later i'm going to import plotly dot express as px and i'll uh, bring all of them in right and after doing that i'm going to bring in the data as well so data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in here i'm going to write delivery time dot txt right so let's bring that in let's run this again once okay so now what we can do is we can output this data file and let's do that let's write print and in that i'm going to write data dot head okay so this is the data that we are using right now right so uh, we are currently interested in a few things out of this right so the first one is restaurant latitude and the second one is restaurant longitude right as you can see both of these things so restaurant is basically the place from which we are going to deliver food and uh, other than that we have this delivery location latitude and delivery location longitude right so uh, what we are going to do is now we are going to uh, you know calculate the distance from this restaurant to this delivery location right so we have these in the form of latitude and long longitude uh, which is of course coordinates right and from that uh, we can calculate the distance that it will take uh, for that as well right so to do that the first thing that uh, i would like to show you is the information regarding the uh, you know data of course this is not important if you do not want to do this right so out of these uh, let's see the longitude and latitude parts so as you can see uh, these are the longitudes and latitudes and these are available in float type variables right so what does this mean this means that all of these things will have points in them right so what is the next step the next step is to check if there is any null value available so for that i'm going to write data is null and then i'm going to write its sum right so yeah so there is no null value available throughout the data set okay so what is the next step the next step is to actually calculate the longitude and latitude uh, for this specific uh, purpose right so the first thing first what we are going to do is we are going to input the radius of the earth in the form of kilometers right so if you look the it up the radius of earth in the form of kilometers is 6371 right so this is the first thing that we are going to uh, do right so this is the radius of earth right now uh, if you take a look you will see that we are going to need a function that can convert degrees to radian right so for that i'm going to write degree to degree to radian and in this i am going to write degrees so degrees will be the entry point and the output will be the uh, you know radian and if you look at the formula to convert 
degrees into radian and then you will see that what you need to do is you need to multiply degrees with uh, pi right and divide by 180 right so pi by 180 basically is what you multiply degrees with right so pi will be available in numpy uh, and then we will divide it by 180 right so this is the function for that okay so the next function is to calculate the distance right so to calculate distance we will have four things right so the first thing will be latitude and longitude for the delivery location or for the restaurant and the second one will be the other one right so we are going to use two basically you know longitude and latitude right so delivery latitude is equal to degree 2 radian right so degree 2 radian because we have uh, things in degrees right and we are going to subtract latitude 2 and uh, meaning we are going to subtract latitude 1 from latitude 2 right so we'll have the difference of latitude with that and we can also get the difference of longitude with the same formula as well right so we are going to write degree to radian and in this we are going to write longitude 2 minus longitude 1 okay so now that we have done both of these things what is the next step the next step is actually to use the cosine and sine function right so what are we going to do with that let me show you right so what we are going to do is we are going to use the cosine function with this latitude difference and multiply it by 2 right uh, after dividing it of course okay and other than that we are going to use the cosine function and we are going to use it on latitude right and add both of these uh, after multiplying all of these right so what is this multiplication this multi in this multiplication we have a cosine function for latitude right and we have a cosine function for latitude 2 and then we have a sine function for difference in longitude right so how did we get to this formula this is just the harvest sine formula that is used to calculate right so now after this the formula is not complete uh, what we have to do is we have to also use the uh, you know tangent function on this a that we have calculated right so for that we are going to write c is equal to 2 multiplied by n p dot uh, arc tangent which means the inverse tangent 2 and in this i'm going to write n p dot square root right and in this square root i'm going to pass a okay and as a second variable we will have to pass uh, n minus a square root right so np dot sqrt and in this i'm going to write one minus a okay and at the end what i'm going to do is i'm going to return r multiplied by c so now let's run this and after running this what is the next step the next step is to calculate the distance right so we can calculate one distance at a time but uh, what i would like to do is i would like to take up a for loop right and in that for loop what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know run it up to the length of data right and in that i'm going to write data dot loc and uh, we are going to write i comma distance right and after that uh, we are going to make a new column called distance by just writing this of course right so i comma distance is equal to uh, distance which will be the distance calculator and in this we are going to take input four things the first two things are restaurant latitude and longitude and the second two things are delivery location uh, latitude and longitude right 
so let me copy those uh, you know uh, columns into this right so these are all the columns restaurant latitude restaurant longitude delivery location latitude and delivery location longitude right so let's run this and after doing that what we can do is we can just check out the head of the data and uh, then we'll be able to see if we did anything or not right so data dot head let's see it after it is completed so let's run this and there we go as you can see this is the distance between the restaurant and the delivery location so this is perfect this is awesome right and you can calculate this uh, uh, you know distance for any sort of system in which you have longitude and latitude available to you okay so this is it for today this is how you can calculate distance with the help of python for more videos like this keep watching a sciences